what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? In case you've forgotten, HIV and AIDS is still a big deal in America. In fact, it's a big deal around the world. But one particular town in America is experiencing a big surge in HIV cases. At least 125 people, including a dozen high school kids in Milwaukee, have been affected by HIV, syphilis, or both, and what is being called as one of the biggest outbreaks ever reported in the city. According to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, which broke the story on Wednesday, the outbreak is being identified as a cluster, meaning that a large number of people have been infected in a particular time and space. Wow. Man, protect, who you say that all the time? Yeah, they say that in boxing, man. Protect yourself at all times. Man, you, you can't go by how pretty somebody look. You can't even go by how clean they may look. You just have to assume that if you're going to take the risk of having sexual contact, that that person that you're laying with may just be infected. So you're going to have to take a calculated risk. And if you're being like intimate with somebody and you're going like all the way unprotected, man, you got to, don't, don't be ashamed to ask for those test results. Ask, don't be afraid. You got people that's getting married. People that, and I understand, you know, people that have these jump offs and all of that stuff. We know that happens. We, we're already well aware of that. But you have people that get married that don't even test each other. Like, people think it's a game, man. It ain't no game out here. It's real out here. Don't they teach sexual education in schools? What do you call it? Sex education? What, what happened to sex education in schools? Instead of teaching the kids about their identity, uh, decide which identity you want to be. What happened to sex education? This good old sex education. This is what happens if you decide to have sex. This is what's going to happen. This is what's most likely to happen if you don't protect yourself. And I'm going to tell you something else. I've heard a number of songs over the last two, three years, where a lot of these rappers are talking about having sex raw. Yeah, that's the best sex. And, you know, encouraging these youngsters to not strap up. Yeah, it's all fun and games till you're laying up in the hospital with that IV in you, trying to get that medicine, holding on for dear life. Or you're taking a hundred pills a day just to get through the day. It's all fun and games. Maybe we need to spend more time talking to the kids about the consequences. I talked to my kids early on about it. It's a very uncomfortable conversation, but you got to have that conversation with your youngsters. Go ahead and have a conversation. It's uncomfortable, but some people like to wait till their kids are 15, 16, 17. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't take any chances. I think I started talking to my kids when they were about 11, 12. Because you never know. You just never know. And it'd be the kid, that quiet kid, that one with the straight A's, that you trust be the main one that's sexually active. So you can't go by looks. You can't even just go by behavior of your child. You just got to have that conversation, have an open and honest conversation. You got a dozen kids in high school that has HIV in Milwaukee. This, these are new, this is just the new cases. And we're not even talking about the adults. What they say every time you have sex with one person, you're having sex with all the people they've had sex with. 
That's weird. Crazy and very, very dangerous. So that's my PSA for the day. Y'all strap up as my old boxing coach used to say, protect yourself at all times. No more talk. What the haters talking about?